Talamoana Exiles, we are about two days out from me flying out to LA to play Path of Exile 2 for the first time, and I would like to talk about quite the controversial topic when it comes to PoE 2, and that is the addition of WASD movement. Now, you might be thinking, that's only a positive. Click to move is staying in the game, just like it is in PoE 1, right? Why would anybody be upset about that? Well, let me tell you a little story here. So, WASD movement is coming, and it was first showcased with the Mercenary class, showcased with the crossbow and how you could aim with WASD and the weapon itself so you can move while aiming, changing directions, using various different skills, so on and so forth. Well, a lot of players see that as a hindrance to click to move and a win for WASD. Therefore, they see WASD as superior to click to move for this specific skill. Crossbows, and probably for bows, for spells, and a variety of other movement and skill types, like spells and so on and so forth. Well, that's not a good thing in Path of Exile because people always flock to the most efficient or most powerful thing, and a lot of people who really enjoy click to move or think they enjoy click to move don't want to need to swap over to WSD to play the most efficient method. It really has riled up a few players in the community, and by a few I do mean the minority, but they are quite vocal about this. They don't want the game, that being Path of Exile 2, to become balanced completely around the use of WASD. People are worried that now the developers are going to design skills with WASD in mind and not even think about click to move as a movement type. And guys, that's already being done. We've seen the crossbow, okay? It was designed explicitly with WASD in mind, and of course click to move is not going to be superior. You're going to want to move with WASD, and you're going to want to aim with the mouse itself. You're not going to want to move with the mouse and try to aim at the same time. It's just not going to work. And that really is the direction that PoE2 seems to be heading in. If they're designing a game in which you're not going to be blasting packs instantly when you click your mouse on top of them, and they want it to be more methodical, they want it to be more strategic, they're going to want movement to matter. And that, this, WASD, is going to do exactly that. It reminds me a lot of a game that I play, Guild Wars 2. The combat in that MMO is tactical for the most part. It is a pretty easy game, but the combat is action-oriented and tactical. You get to dodge around, you get to move freely, you're not standing still when using abilities, right? You're not planted in the ground like you are in World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV, right? And that's something Path of Exile 2 also seeks to solve. They don't want everyone to be standing in place while using their skills. We've seen that with every single class. You can move while shooting with the mercenary. You are moving forward with momentum on the warrior with the two-handed mace. With the shadow and the daggers, you're stabbing people while slowly moving around them. No one's stationary, so they don't want you to only be using the mouse and WASD while you're moving around to aim, they want you to use your skills to aim as well. And to do that well, well, you're gonna need a variety of keys on your keyboard and you're going to need to get used to using them, okay? I know this is crazy to hear for a lot of people who play PoE 1, myself included, who use one button builds most of the time. And you know, we're giving ourselves a little, little, too little credit about these one button builds because you might say, oh yeah, my cleave of rage is one button, but I also put up my ancestral totems. I also have to make sure my blood rage is up. I also have to use berserk. I have to make sure my auras are always active. I have to activate my war cries, so on and so forth. So they're not actually one buttons. So right now you might be doing a lot of passive or active upkeep, but in Path of Exile 2, instead of that, you might be comboing various abilities together. And this WASD movement all plays into that. It's something that the developers are actively trying to solve. It's not inhibiting anyone intentionally, right? And like I said, there are a segment of people who are pro click to move and they don't wanna stop using click to move and grinding your games is not taking that option away from those people. However, the addition of this other option is going to, in a way, inhibit them a little bit because grinding your games is going to design skills with WASD in mind. And people might need to use WASD or swap to it 
to use these skills effectively. I, when I play Path of Exile 2, I am probably going to pick the Druid and I am going to play a melee Druid, hopefully. If the Werewolf is available, if the Werebear is available, I'm going to be playing both of those forms. And I'm going to try out WASD and not click to move. Because with all the showcases for WASD, it's all been ranged classes. We saw it with the Ranger. We saw it in depth with the Mercenary. I'm really curious to see how this feels in a game like Path of Exile as a melee class. In Guild Wars 2, it feels great. But in PoE, I mean, in the PoE of today, it would feel terrible. But in Path of Exile 2, it could feel phenomenal. And I'm quite excited to test it out. So I'm going to make sure that I get at least a few hours on WASD with a melee class. And I am going to bring all the sweet tea back to you exiles. So I think I hit on the primary points there. Why people like WASD. It allows you to use abilities on the move. It allows you to aim better. It allows for smoother gameplay. A lot of people think that really click to move is just a remnant of the past and WASD is the future. And the people who don't like WASD just think that skills are going to be balanced in its favor and they'll be forced to use it, even though their click to move option is going to be there. Those really are the two sides to this issue. And when people discuss it, a select few get heated and it's unfortunate. Really, it's adding more options to the game. It's probably going to allow for easier console ports too now that they're mapping all of this going to be a positive and there is a huge audience of players who never would touch this game unless WASD was an option. It was a huge draw to D4 when D4 released WASD into their game. Lots of people are asking about it in Last Epoch and if Path of Exile 2 just launches straight up with it, which it will on June 7th, they're going to be sitting pretty. And a lot of people who have played MMOs in the past or games that strictly have WASD movement are going to be drawn to this game. And that's ultimately what we want. We want more players to play Path of Exile 2, to join our community of exiles and make it the absolute best it can be. I'm confident we can, everyone. We have a bright future ahead of us with Path of Exile 2 and grinding your games. If you missed it, I live stream this morning preparing for the LA trip and my eventual interview with Jonathan Rogers on March 25th. The VOD is up on YouTube and it's over on Twitch if you'd like to check it out. Once again, I'd like to thank all of my tremendous supporters over on Twitch, on Patreon, and on YouTube. You are all allowing me to make videos every single day and justify it straight to my lovely, lovely wife. I cannot thank you enough. Yeah, I, I just cannot believe it. We're a few days out, everyone. I'm, I'm flying out tomorrow morning. This is wild. I'm genuinely hyped. It's going to be a good one. Anyways, that's all for this one. Tala Moana. Exiles.